Librarians facilitate access to all the information that we have in the world and um, they really are the key to the information in my opinion um, and not just in my opinion they actually are because they they study all the different information resources and therefore they they have they hold the key to um, helping other people get to that information. Library science and instructional technology um, are actually two different fields, but they work well together. Um, I started off in photography, and, and when I started going back to graduate school, um, I went and, and I got a degree in English because I loved that, and that was my undergraduate degree. Uh, then computers came on the scene. And I loved computers, so I immediately started going and uh, working with the very early computers. But then I decided that I wanted to be in the schools and working with children and the computers. And there was really no certification for anyone in computers at that time. So I searched around and I found that Kutztown um, had a degree in library media studies which really closely connected with the kind of learning experiences that I would want to be doing in the schools with the students with the computer. So I came here and uh, loved the curriculum right away, uh, reading lots of young adult literature, children's books, um, absolutely loved uh, learning about how to administer the library programs, what kind of neat things you could do in the school library, as well as interacting with the public libraries. A lot. The role of the librarian has changed tremendously over the past few years. Um, of course, there is still the stereotype of the little old lady with the glasses, you know, like this, right? you know. And yes, I do have them, but um, the role of the librarian has changed immensely. The, the librarian used to be the little old lady who had the Mother Goose book, you know, with the glasses and um, read the story to children in a circle. Now you'll see the librarian as um, this active person who's uh, probably at the forefront of all technology uh, that's out there is constantly pushing the, the envelope as far as um, getting new access uh, to information through new tools, um, is, is a multitasker um, beyond belief, especially in the school libraries. Uh, so they have changed quite a bit. Okay, well I teach, um, I'm preparing students to enter the field in librarianship um, in my technology class. I teach them how to create programs that would reach out to the community, that would reach out, reach out to the parents if they're in a school library. Uh, we create wiki spaces and uh, we populate those wiki spaces with lots of different information. Um, we might create some digital stories, uh, we might create um, media that promotes certain books or certain genres of books. Um, we, we study the differences between public libraries and school libraries so that they know uh, what's important to both and therefore they can reach across and, um, and you know, gather the strengths of both. Public and school libraries, again, as I said, they are the key to the information overload that we find ourselves in the midst of. Um, any student can go on Google, of course, but they may not be getting, uh, they may not be understanding what they're getting as far as this, the resource that they're looking at. So they, if, if they're not educated um, about the different resources and uh, what's a good resource versus what's a, a not so good resource, then they are really putting themselves at risk of making a bad decision based on bad resources. So the librarian is really key to knowing what good resources are out there, pointing the patron or the student to those resources, and then that way the resource, the student is educated um, so that the next time they go out there they can make an informed decision with that information. The way I started out my degree, I didn't start out thinking that I would ever be a librarian. I started out as an English major because I loved reading and I loved analyzing literature and um, then I graduated and I was offered several jobs writing but um, I really wasn't that happy with those and I ended up landing a job at Lehigh University um, as a photographer because I had taken sort of a minor in ph photography. I'd always been interested in that as well. 
Uh, that's so, sto sort of storytelling um, too. So I worked for Lehigh. Um, I supported the scientists in the material science department and um, the research center in nanotechnology for several years, um, actually about 25 years. Uh, spent 10 years of that in the dark room, the next 10 years um, doing digital photography and then learning lots of um, computer technology that way. So I've always been in instructional technology and um, then I, as I mentioned before, I wanted to share some of this information with children. So I came to Kutztown and the closest certification program was the Library Media Specialist. So I obtained my uh, certification there. In the meantime, I had gone to Lehigh, uh, fortunately being a, an employee there, the tuition was free. So I got my master's in English and then I also got my master's in instructional technology. And when I was finished with all that, I uh, went and taught. Um, I left Lehigh um, one day a week and I went and taught in the Brandywine School District um, for 20% and I stayed at Lehigh for the other 80%. And that was a lot of fun because I could bridge um, what I was seeing in the sciences and all the uh, great um, research that was going on there at Lehigh with what was happening in the classroom. So I brought a lot of that into the library. And uh, we did plays and we uh, looked at um, magnified images of, of different bugs and anything that we could, that we could help to to bridge the gap. So um, that led into trying to get remote access to um, the microscopes for the students at, at the school, which I then enlisted the help of a networking person at Lehigh, and we ended up being able to access the um, electron microscopes through a laptop computer, which I could then bring to the school, and the students could then um, take pictures of their samples, whatever they were, if they were cloth, erasers, you know, bugs, anything they picked up in their backyard that they wanted to see closer. So we would magnify it maybe 1,500 times to 2,000 times. And that was really um, exciting research, and that led to my dissertation. So um, that's when I, um, after I had a few children in the, in the meantime, um, and that's <laughs> why I ended up here uh, much later, but I, I graduated from Lehigh with my um, doctorate in 2007 and then um, a month after that I was offered a job here in the department which had combined the two things that I loved the most, the, the library science and the instructional technology. So for me it was like a perfect fit. Right, awesome. <laughs>